Hi, let's talk about the unknown. Oftentimes we feel stuck or our creative energy is not flowing optimally because we fear stepping into the unknown. Really, fearing stepping into the unknown is only a result of a reaction to a projection of the unknown. There is no known <laughs> and there is no unknown. So the mental construct of the unknown is such that we look at what we don't know might happen or what we fear might happen or the fear of things that we believe we need, we perceive to be needing, uh, that might no longer be in our realm of experience. And then we project that onto something that we call the unknown. And then we experience the fear, the pain, reactive energy, towards not having that or having something that we don't want. If we keep this illusion alive of the unknown and the fear of the unknown, then we limit ourselves. We're not allowing ourselves to experience all of what the universe, what reality is made up of. And so we continue to live by habits, by patterns, by addictions, and behaviors that are limiting us and that kind of dull our energy, that kind of limit our energy state and our state of uh, well-being, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic. And so stepping into the unknown is a process of constantly exploring something outside of what we believe to be the known, outside of our habits, our patterns, our beliefs, and our fears, and simply exploring the world, opening ourselves up to new experiences, to new ways of perceiving ourselves, others, life, reality. And this, again, is going to bring about a lot of energy. It's going to release a lot of energy in your system that has been basically stored, repeating the same habits, patterns, and addictions. So stepping into the unknown is a little bit like going down a slide that never ends, constantly going down the slide and down the slide and experiencing new things and feeling all of the wonderful energy that comes from that, the creative energy that is released when we're constantly stepping into new experiences and enjoying those new experiences instead of trying to stay clinging to the past, clinging to past experiences that are felt as the known, defined as a known, and that might not necessarily bring us happiness, bring us joy, or simply maybe bring us safety because it's supposedly the, the known, what we believe to be the known. I hope this is helpful. My husband and I are life coaches, healers, hypnotists, and spiritual teachers, and we'd love to help you in any way we can. Wishing you a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world.